freaking ha, man. I got my log book up to date. I got my first load done already. It's not even six o'clock yet. We're unloaded back on the highway. Got one more load to go do today. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. We are rocking and rolling, brother. Let's get it. Let's get it. Feeling freaking good today. I'm still sick. I'm still sick, but that's all right. We're still rocking. This is Interstate 78. They, uh, they've been doing some serious road work here. They got all trucks, no trucks in the right lane. Or, no, trucks are not allowed in the right-hand lane from exit 45 to exit 35, basically. It's a 10-mile stretch in here, and it gets a little tight. It gets a little tight. you got to really watch what you're doing. Uh, yeah, it, gets a, it definitely gets a little tight. It's nice to come through here earlier in the morning if you have that choice. If you have the choice to come in here early in the morning or late at night, you know, or you, like if you have, if you can pick your time of uh, when to come through here early in the morning or in the evening, at, like at nighttime, the better off. Just because of how nasty tight it is. Yeah, no trucks, no trucks and trailers in the right lane, trucks and buses only, left hand lane. Yeah, but yeah, we're rocking and rolling. It's, uh, we're headed back to get another load of pallets. We gotta go pick, we gotta go drop this trailer back off at Laurel Run. Drop this trailer off at the Amish Mill. Drop it off and go over to another Amish Mill and pick up another load of pallets and go deliver that down to West Vir or Virginia, down to Winchester, Winchester, Virginia. All right, right along, let's get it, let's get it. This is uh, one of the places that we pick up and deliver at. Just pull in over here, and drop our trailer, and drop our trailer and go find our loaded trailer. This is the one of the Amish pallet shops. I flipped it back up. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Laurel Run Pallets. This is where they built the pallets and stuff, all that fun stuff. It's what we haul a lot of these guys. A lot of different stuff like this. Uh, my load, my load that I'm picking up is actually just a set of runners. It's not the actual pallet. It's uh, just like square blocking, basically. That's my next load. The guy that owns this pallet shop is where he lives at. He's got such a nice house. He's such a nice guy. Uh, I'll take, I'll shoot my bow over in their parking lot. Uh, he came over and talked to me a couple times. I had my bow out shooting. He really liked my bow. Yeah, it's nice to get off the uh, the highway and go for a little ride out through the country whenever you're swapping trailers. This is, this is a part of this job that I really, really like. I like the fact that we get out on the back road here a little bit, get to go into the Amish places and swap out our trailers and then right back to the highway and back into the cities and stuff. But it's kind of all part of it. Like I said, I the one thing about my job that for this company that I love, it's I, I love that, you know, I still get the I still get to go into the sawmills and stuff. I still get the, you know, it's the logger in me coming out. Like, I love that I get to see it, you know. I used to cut and skid, and I've helped run sawmills all my life, and now I'm on the other side of it where I'm seeing the pallets getting built, I'm hauling the pallets, uh, going in and out of the heat treat places and stuff. It's, it's a pretty cool, uh, this is a pretty cool job. I really like it. It's not like it's not big money or anything, but you know, you can make a living at it, and you know, I just I enjoy the hell out of it. All right, let's go get our next load. You can see that house or not. It's freaking gorgeous, big stone house. I always see deer in here. I'm always seeing deer or turkey. I'm surprised there isn't one here somewhere. Probably is, but it looked hard enough. And this is where I'm picking up my next load. I know it says exit only, but it'd just be easier for me because I know where my trailer's at. So take a chance and come in the exit only way <laughs> but this is wingard pallet shop oh look at that 
Never fails. On my way out, and there's a guy coming in. Tried sneaking in. Sure as hell, ends up being a guy there. That never, never happens. Never happens if <laughs> if you decide to go the other way. There would never, there would never be anybody there. That one freaking time. <laughs> Like, I never come in that way. I never come in that way. Like, oh, I'm going to sneak in. I'm going to sneak in the exit just because it will be easier for me. <laughs> sure as hell, run into the freaking r &F guy there. He's, uh, he hauls for the heat treat place. All right, let's climb out and look at the hood. Here's what we got. This is what we're hauling. In here, get our paperwork out. Get a little box, put our stuff in it. Winchester. Put this box back up. Don't want to lose my paperwork, so first, as soon as I get my paperwork, I put it in the truck because I know myself. I'll put it down and I'll forget about it, sure as hell. Put the airline's up. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but we're going to try it anyhow. The blue goes to blue. Red goes to red. And I can't do this with one hand. This goes in here. There we go. And that turns your lights on. Yeah. Quick check. Strap sometimes will be a little loose. Let me, let me tighten these down quick. All right, they're all tightened down. Go walk around the trailer. Make sure they're all pumped up. The lights are working. They all look good. They all look good. See nothing hanging down. Nothing looks ridiculous. Gonna put my landing gear up yet. But yeah, everything looks good. I need new tires. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Steer tires look good. Yeah, all right, let's get the landing gear up. I'm going to pump some air to it. There's my mama calling. I'll call her back in a minute. All right, I'll get this landing gear up quick. Hang on. All right, brake lights are working. I don't hear any air leaking. Landing gears up. We're ready to rock. It's uh, pretty early yet. We're kicking ass. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. No air leaking. Nope. We're good, man. We're good. Catch my log book up quick. I'm awesome. I get to use paper logs. And everybody's six. Back 745. Nice, nice. Made good time. Made it back to Mifflin Town. Made it back to Mifflin Town. Dropped and rehooked up, ready to go in less than two hours. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get back out the way that we should not have came. <laughs> get back out the exit. We'll go out the exit this time. But yeah, this is uh, this is Wingard Pal Chop. It's a nice place. They're nice people. Uh, I like the forklift operators. They're all Amish, you know. But they're all decent people. They don't look down on you. You know, they don't put their noses up to you. They're here to do their jobs and just like I am. <laughs> just like I am. Alright, let's get the west. Here comes a car.
get to uh, Virginia. Come on, car, I stopped mm -hmm. for you. That means let's go, let's go. Come on. Gotta go to Winchester, Virginia. That's where we're headed for. All right, we'll see you down there. Oh, by God, we made it. Getting unloaded now. Doesn't take long, doesn't take long. I always get these guys gathered up. And usually pretty quick about it. I mean, usually by the time I have it all put away, they're done, you know. I had to pack everything up. That was fast, that didn't take long. That was fast, that didn't take long. Yeah, they're, they're cruising today, man. They're, they're already almost done already. Usually I have it all put away packed up and put away about the same time that they have it unloaded and uh, I'm not even put away yet and they're they only have like one more skid they're gonna look look there'll be one one skid left to go <laughs> yeah they they pounded that fucker they got done quick man they got done with that in a hurry it didn't take long I appreciate you man uh, I appreciate you have a, uh, have a good uh, how about it? I'm ready to get home Three and a half hours. Something like that. Not too bad. Appreciate you getting me done, man. Oh, he's nice to the forklift operators. Those are the guys. Those are the guys unloading you. Those are the guys. Those are the guys, you know gonna get you out of here the other guys are gonna take care of you so always always try to take care of them I always try to be nice always try to be friendly you know just because they're out here doing a job the same as I am but yeah just like that we're down in West Virginia I don't even know what time it is it's <coughs> time is it it is Come on, man, tell me the time. Not even 11 o'clock. So we did, I can't remember the time I left up there. It's 11 o'clock, let me look, hold on. All right, if we left down there, or yeah, up there at eight o'clock, it's 11 o'clock, three hours. It took us three hours to drive from Mifflin Town the drive from Mifflin Town to Winchester, Virginia and get unloaded. All my straps off, get completely unloaded and then drive out of here. Trucks are not supposed to go out this way but it's a lot easier for me. I don't... This place has like a whole bunch of different sides and I'm, of course I'm going out the no truck side. Yeah, we made hellish good time. Really good, really good. Uh, happy to be out of here. Uh, glad to be done for the week. It's, uh, it's almost shirtless Friday. We got to get home, get back, and hold on. We got to get back. We got to take our trailer up, drop our trailer off, bobtail down to the office, turn our paperwork in, grab our paycheck, get in the car, and head home. Well, I got to finish. I'm already packed up. All I got to do is grab my stuff and get out of here. So. It's not officially shirtless Saturday until I'm in my car on my way home, so pretty excited for that. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing I started, and uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you know about it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for shirtless Friday to get here. It's Friday. It's almost time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We're trying to make the channel grow. Uh, I'd really, really appreciate it. It means a lot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this trucker video. I'm going to try to make more of these. Uh, if you like this, please like, please comment, please subscribe, all that fun, happy jazz. I really, really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. If, if you watched this far, dude, you're, you're freaking awesome. I really appreciate it. Peace and love, everybody. See ya.